In the last couple of years, we've seen God open up the floodgates as refugees have poured into our community and into our church. And we've been uh, building relationships with them in the hope of sharing Jesus Christ. And God has seen fit to bless that in ways that we want to share with you so that you can pray about, you can celebrate with us, and you can even serve and give so that we can see God's name further, not only in our community, but all over the world for the glory of God. And we're standing at the corner of Monomoy and Randall. And there have been a lot of people from all over the world that God has brought to this area of West Aurora. When we put together a Good Neighbor Kit, it's basically the items that you would use for starting your own apartment. Take two hours and clean out the cupboards, put the food away, put the dishes away, make the beds, put a couple pictures on the wall, make it look like a nice apartment. I really love seeing the families after we have set up their apartment. Um, making friends with them, practicing English. We are hosting World Relief classes as they teach ESL and job classes to refugees in the hope of helping them to assimilate into our community. We also turned part of our grassy area into some gardens that refugees can come and farm. We want to help restore dignity to them and also get to know them in the hope of sharing Jesus. We hosted a soccer camp in our church where we had people, participants from seven different nations. Many Hindu, Buddhist, and Muslims came each day to play soccer and interact with some of our leaders. We hosted volleyball on Tuesday nights where we had dozens of refugees coming together to fellowship and just get to know who we are. We also opened up our VBS to host different refugees and had an opportunity to share the truth of Jesus with them. One of the coolest things has been refugees making Village Bible Church their home, and it's been really great to see refugees walking around with t-shirts that say, Village Bible Church is my family. This is Mohammed. I came from Afghanistan like three months ago. I made some friends up, uh, here uh, on the church. I really, I mean, have a very good time, I mean, with them and we played volleyball, we played soccer. They helped me a lot and I really thank them. And thank you, Travis, thank you, Jim, for everything. On July 29, I was welcomed by people from Village Bible in the airport. And uh, when I get into my house, I found a message of hope from the member of the church. The first Sunday of being in America, I went to Village Bible Church and I experienced love. And it was a really unforgettable day for me to be having a friend, first friend in America. I was really blessed when I joined the group. And uh, we shared the Word of God, we discussed deep, and it increased my faith in Jesus Christ. Joining the church, it is a conviction of my heart. I'm connected to the presence of God through the church. I requested if I can be one of the, the servants. So I feel comfortable when I serve God because I know my reward will come from me. So what does God have in store for us for 2016? We're not exactly sure. We weren't exactly prepared for what happened in 2014 and 15. But if God sees fit to keep blessing us the way that He has, we would love to establish a friendship center here at Village Bible Church where refugees could come, uh, learn English, perhaps access the internet, and learn about who Jesus is. Learn about our culture, but learn most of all who Jesus is. And we could build bridges to them because we're not just reaching an individual, we're reaching a community and possibly the world for the glory of God.